Hi, welcome to FermiCG.net. I am Samiti. For this tutorial, you are going to create uh, this kind of liquid effects within Blender. We already covered how to model the glass bottle and how to create the studio lighting for this kind of effect. And in this part, we will be adding some static fluid to different colored fluid to our uh, finally modeled bottle and this is the final end result of the renter and also have some more maybe there are some sort of rendering also here and this is some kind of fluid effect we will be discussing the real fluid effect in the next chapter and this is the renter have some kind of rendering like this so let us create um, this effect for blender tutorial here so i'm just going to show high render preview and i already created uh, some settings here so i'm just going to add a default scene here okay so uh, this is the scene we already created earlier and from the two tutorials glass modeling and studio lighting for the glass modeling so uh, this is the render so in the solid mode it's just going to make move it to another layer move to second layer and in the second layer so we have a boat we need to add some water to it so there are different options uh, we can add water inside bottle in blender or any other 3d program if you are from another 3d program like maya you can just follow the same instructions here and this this is the static rendering uh, so we don't need any stimulation for the water itself so just simple modeling is enough and jump to maybe this is solid frame and in the edit mode we need to duplicate um, the actual water itself so first make sure how much water you need so i think uh, this much is enough so in the solid mode just select the inner edge first and also uh, the bottom edge itself and pressing shift and press ctrl e select edge loop that you will select uh, the two edge loop and also you need to select the inner region so press ctrl e and you select loop inner region and that will select the inner region also so this is the inner region itself and we are going to duplicate this so press shift d that will duplicate the those face inside um, this bottle and we are going to separate it so simply press p that will ask for separation just use by loose part and that will be separated so and this is our bottle and the bottle zero one is our actual bottle and the original bottles is our water column so just to rename it to water and this to bottle itself so we need to parent the water with the bottle so select both of them press ctrl p and press object that will parent the water to the bottle itself okay so we just uh, created the other water column itself i'm just going to move it to another layer so select the water and press m and move it to another layer so we can just edit that so press in the third layer so this is our what call we need to fill this top edge so remember our glass modeling 
tutorial we already have created the bottom itself uh, like this so in order to create that you can just skip to the edit mode select in your top edge control e edge loop then pressing f that will fill the area also press control b and do some bevel also just to decrease the offset a little bit and that you will create some kind of um, like this and if you want you can also increase uh, the sections inside the bolt, uh, the glass column and just using a concave surface will be the best solution for the water itself or but i'm not going to do any kind of um, extra vertices here so using this as the water column itself and just undo that sorry not um, under the selection so this is the water and we are going to add a new material in the object mode just delete material add new material we name it to water and also just change it to glass bsdf and i think the ior for water is 1.33 so use that and that will add water surface and if we render so remember to select both the three layers and if we render see what's happening early the top column is visible just make sure i'm just using gp for this so only the top uh, layer is showing also I think uh, the settings is too much high for the real-time render so I'm just going to delete sampling to 4 okay 16 samples enough and also just using the limited global illumination so uh, only we can see only this if we closely watch only this area is showing the thickness and inside there is no thickness bar so this is not actual water is inside the bottle so what is happening we need to adjust this behavior so select the water press n and see in the scaling value is the cut so we have the scale values of 1.850 if you want you can just simply decrease it to something just below that and also the x and y should be the same so now we can see how what is rendering correctly inside the bottle so this is it and press one see just using these two we are just uh, selecting both of these two layers that means uh, the water and the glass bottle itself and uh, maybe because of the blender ui or the selection rule we cannot simply select um, parent itself and duplicate it so if we just use the wireframe mode and if we select only the parent and if just duplicate it and move it only that parent will be duplicated not the child itself so you need to select both of them so press b and select both of this and press shift to d and press x just move it like this and also scale it a little bit down press in and just maybe selecting that the only the bottle itself and the scale value you can see the scale one 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 so just use the z scale value to point seven five that will automatically transform the scale value to our inner glass uh, water sorry inner water itself and also press b and select both of these 
Let's shift to the X, just move it to the left and also press shift to the X, move it here. So select the outer and just use 0.5. Also select both of these, shift to the X, move it towards the right. Select only the portal itself and press point five. So we just modeled our portal itself and if we render the machine, so we need to select out lighting layer also. So now we have five bottle with um, the water itself and we need to change the color of this water itself so first of all i'm going to change the color of this bottle so select that bottle and that is bottle zero one and expand that you can see bottle zero one and in the material tab just delete the material so that will be black create a new material still it will be black and just use a Plus B S D F itself and change it to water red. So you can just use a red color itself and also change the index of refraction to 1.33. So that will behave like water. And also select this and select the water itself. Delete that. Add a new rename it to water pink so change it to n plus bsdf and change the ior value to 1.33 and also color something like pink and also select this last bottle and see that should be bottle zero two and what zero two just to delete that so select new material rename it to water green change to plus b s d of change i o r value to one point three three and change the color to green so simply do the same for this bottle also just expand that water delete that new just select that and rename it to water blue and also change it to plus BSDF, change the color to blue or any color you like. Also, I owe a value to 1.33. Finally, in the solid mode, just in the render settings, you need to change it to back. To the sampling preset to final and the sorry the render preset to 32 so that total sample should be more than thousand and you can increase the, the total samples value to 2000 or 3000 if you have a much higher configuration of system computer power like a gpu cpu is that and i'm just using cp computer for the final rendering that is fast for me and also change the global illumination value to full global illumination also choose no caustics because actually there won't be any caustics for the the cycles render it will only add some unwanted filters so we don't need that so just use no caustics and just use and the rendering before that just save the scene so save us can just use glass bottle liquid itself 
and just save that and one more thing you need to know that render view see you can see a sharp I think it's occurring here so first select that we need to adjust to scale in both of these um, before more than that shown in the before uh, the previous tutorial just scale it a little bit higher so it will cover more area and also just scale the top light a little bit higher so it will cover the whole body itself and also move this little bit to the x and this should be a little bit far from our final scene and also you can see I just increased the strength to 5 and also on the top you can just increase maybe it should be to 4 so that will create more realism to the scene and if we render just press to 0 and the final render okay so uh, this is the final setup and after rendering you will get uh, something like this and see a nice amount of um, reflection refraction and everything is coming with nice lighting and the studio kind of uh, reflection he's occurring only you can see the some kind of noise here at the bottom of some uh, reflection so you need to increase the final samples much higher than the thousand itself maybe two thousand itself so this is the end of this section